Tier 1 Con is the event you wouldn't want to miss this year. It's a uh, Malmö edition together with Malmö Game Week and it's uh, hosted by Malmö City. So we'll feature 12 main events in Magic with guaranteed uh, prizes. Uh, we'll have guaranteed prizes in Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Flesh and Blood, Digimon, Dragon Ball um, as well. We will have featured Dragon Shield will be our main sponsor this year. We're very happy to uh, to collaborate with them. They will have their their area. It's uh, called the training grounds. In the, in this area, you can meet Jumbo Commander, Nitpicking Nerds, Play to Win, and Quest for the Jank Lord. So uh, there will be a lot of action going on in these areas. Uh, also, in these areas, there will be super artists like uh, Mark Titten. We'll have AS Alters, MSJ. So if you have something you want to get altered, something you want to get signed, there'll be a very big option for that. Um, Malmö Game Week is located 12 minutes train ride from Copenhagen Airport. So it's an international airport. It's very easy to get there. You just jump on the train from the airport and 12 minutes later you will be at Hulier Station. And the station is located two minutes from the mess hall. Uh, within the mess hall, there'll be around 30 meters from the mess hall to the hotel, which will be the best quality hotel, which we are uh, the best Western, sorry, that we are collaborating with. Um, we will have five guards, security guards at the venue, which means that uh, we take the security of everybody very seriously. There'll be a lot of cards there and some value, of course, and we'll do everything we can to make sure that uh, everybody is safe. Welcome old school players to the need to know for T1 Con at Melma Game Week. We will have a very nice and special program for you old school players at, uh, at Melma Game Week and uh, T1 Con. So what we have been doing is that on Friday we have created a charity tournament. It's a 30 euro entry. Uh, all the money will go 100% to Doctors Without Borders. So we did not announce any um, prizes. We did not announce any special things to win because uh, in our opinion, you already win by giving away some money to charity. So uh, this tournament will be live streamed. Uh, and the reason for this is also that uh, we have our special host is Manguchi and he really wanted to play some old school. So we hope a lot of old schoolers will uh, We'll play some magic with him, see some very nice cards. So the point of this is that it will be Swedish legal, uh, meaning that no foreign black border will be allowed, no chronicles, uh, no CEIE. Uh, so it's back to the roots, play with what you have and enjoy the game uh, and play with some really cool players. Uh, so that will be on Friday evening. On Saturday, we'll start out with our DOS 7.0. Uh, this means this is the 7 version. On the Saturday, you can play with Form Black Border, Chronicles, Revised. You can play with uh, Collector's Edition, International Edition. So this, this tournament will be open for a lot of players, which, uh, which will have access to the new cards. So we hope a lot of people will join. Um, the whole point is that with old school players, there are some pretty expensive cards. We know this, being an old school player myself. So what we have been doing is that we have a huge venue in Melmo. Um, and in this venue, there'll be a tournament area. So the tournament area needs to have business to be there. But we did another thing. So we made a area within the tournament area, which is closed. There will be a security guard, a professional security guard at that area. Uh, it will be for 200 or 250 players. This means that this is also an area where you can play tournaments in, but you can also just play casual in this area. And there's two reasons for that. So it's old schoolers and vintage players, because we have a vintage tournament on, on Sunday. So if you have the old cards, you want to get playing with those uh, power cards you can do that on Sunday so we'll be two times old school and then one time on Sunday 
So you need an armband to get into this area, but you're, if you are within the charity event on Friday, this is the armband you need. On Sunday, on, on, on Saturday, it will be the Dust 7.7, uh, 7.0, and then on Sunday, it will be the Vintage. But you can purchase an armband. We did not put a price on that yet, but we want to make sure we get people's age. We want to make sure we get their email, etc. So this area, uh, in terms of value, we want to make sure that uh, that not everybody will go in there and look at this area. So it'll be a bit more intimate. And here's the point that uh, it has taken us several months to negotiate with the, the cafe and the Swedish uh, uh, authorities on that level that old schoolers like beer. So the maximum we could get out of this deal for you guys was if we close the area and everybody is above 18, we could get allowance for you to buy beers, but only a case at a time. But this is the best we could do for you. So within this area, you can drink beer during the tournament. It's the only area where you can do that. So you need to have a closed area where you can, you can do this. And this is why we're putting a security guard and you need to have an armband. Um, but it's to make sure that you can, you can have quiet and pe uh, peace in this area and you can drink a beer because I know a lot of people would like that. So this is the, this is the point of the old school. And uh, I hope you'll join us, and it will be fun, I promise you. And uh, Mengucci as well is uh, looking forward to playing. So, hope to see you there.